What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie, and today we're going to be doing a drugstore haul. So you guys, we've been doing a lot of shopping here and there, picking up things from different little stores. And I wanted to share with you guys the products I've been finding because I haven't done hauls in a minute and I miss doing hauls on my channel. So I hope you guys are interested in this video and seeing the goodies that I picked up. Make sure before we go any further, you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. Like this video if you want to see more hauls and become a part of the D4L squad because we're lit over here. So we do have some products from Marshalls, um, Burlington's, Walmart, and I think that's about it maybe. Alright you guys, we are going to go through this stuff. I've bought a lot. As you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, I've been buying a lot of things. And I've just been buying just to, you know, put a little extra mm into my channels and test out a couple of things. So we are going to start off with this six-piece folding razor by the Beauty Spot. Here is what they look like. I do have one I'm already currently using. She looks like that. And I know I'm a little bit extra with the polka dots, but I think it is really, really cute. You can angle it the way you need to and get into the creases. I did use it today to arch my eyebrows, you know, to clean it up a little bit. And they work pretty good. And I like it. And like I said, it's very extra because it got the polka dots and stuff on it. But it is the pink and gray razors. And like I said, it's a six piece. It says for smooth, for your smoothest skin ever, it's the six piece by my beauty spot. And I did pick these up from Burlington's and these were $3.99 at Burlington's and I thought that was a good deal. Um, let's see, y'all, this is not going to be in order and I can tell you guys that this is multiple trips, okay? So at Walmart, I was looking for a new toner and all that good stuff. I seen this one YouTube video, if I can remember, I will link it down below in the hot box. The girl was talking about which hazel wasn't good for um, toning your face and I didn't take too much heat into it because witch hazel has been doing wonders for my skin. But at the same time, I was like, you know what? Let me just take a step back and try something different. So I did see the Seabreeze Sensitive Skin. It says it deep cleanse with a tingling, refreshing feeling and this is like a toner. I haven't you see breeze anything at all so i thought maybe i should try this bad boy out and see how my skin reacts to it and it says sensitive skin so hopefully my skin is my skin is not really sensitive but hopefully this doesn't you know break my face down and act a fool with me but i wanted to try something else out and i heard sea breeze was good they have some type of sea breeze like oil and stuff that people be using so I wanted to try it out and see. I did also pick up the new e.l.f. eyeshadow bite size cream and sugar palette. I only picked up this one because some of the other colors were just not something I wanted to try. But if you guys would like for me to go and pick up the other shades and do like a eyeshadow look with every single one in, you know, one video, let me know because I will go back and pick those up. But this one is this one is the bite size cream and sugar palette and i like that they have four shadows two mattes and two shimmers and andrea renee here on youtube did five looks with one palette of these and i thought that was pretty dope i would have never came up with that but i can do a look with each eyeshadow palette if you guys would like um, I will do like a little review swatch video maybe like over on my Instagram or something if you're not following me on Instagram make sure to head over there and click that follow button because I will be having more videos and mini reviews and stuff like that coming up very very soon so hopefully you guys go and catch that video I did notice and I am gonna do a video I'm gonna do two separate videos 
on skincare products that have not been popping lately versus makeup products and makeup brands that haven't been popping lately. I'm gonna do that video, those two videos, sometime soon because I noticed some of the makeup brands that, let's say, that I've been owning or been seeing about, I'm just kind of like, where are they? And the same thing goes for skincare brands. I've been kind of wondering like, what's up with them? They haven't came out with anything new and all that good stuff. So give this video a thumbs up for those two videos to come out ASAP. Because, and the reason why I bring that up is because skin, uh, clean and clear, sorry. Clean and Clear is one of the skincare brands that I was like, I haven't heard anything about them lately. With me thinking that and going through Walmart, I did notice that Clean and Clear did come up with two new lines of skincare. So, one of the skincares, and I'm going to talk about this one first, this one is the Lemon Skincare line of Clean and Clear. They have like five different new products that all belong to this lemon brand. And I was a little shocked and like, ooh, by because like I said, I haven't heard anything about Clean and Clear for a minute. And I was using Clean and Clear since like junior high, high school. So that's one of the skincare brands that you can walk into the store, grab what you need and walk out because you know that they're always there. But when they don't come out with something in a long time, it's kind of like you forget about them. And I did forget about them, so I was surprised to see that they had a whole lemon line. And I was like, well, wait a minute, what's this? It caught my attention, the big bright yellow caught my attention. I was like, oh my God, it's by Clean and Clear. So they do have like five different products. And I did pick up this product the makeup wipes just to test out. My wife told me to hold off on the other four products that they have because we're kind of testing out this other product and seeing if it works because we've seen on YouTube that it is a really good product. So we've both been using it to see if we could give our own review on it. So these are the lemon cleansing wipes. They refreshingly lifts away makeup and dirt. It has vitamin C and it's oil free and like I said they're by clean and clear and it's 25 wipes in this and I love the fact that it's yellow y'all it caught my attention so I want to see what these are about and they also have the watermelon line from the same clean and clear and these are the watermelon cleansing wipes this one hydrates while lifting away dirt and makeup and it's all flip oil free and it's hydration in it and these are 25 wipes as well so this one is vitamin c this one is hydrating this one's watermelon this one's lemon so i'm excited to test these bad boys out and see how i like them so moving on i did oh i did pick up that extra that one other product that goes with the lemon i mean with the watermelon line i just looked in here and see so I did pick up the watermelon clean and clear gel moisturizer. It quench, it quench and refresh with no shine and hydration to it. So it looks like this. I thought it was super freaking cute. Isn't that cute? Like so cute. So it says instantly quenches and calm thirsty skin, breathable, lightweight hydration with no residue for deliciously fresh, clear hydration, hydrated skin hydrated skin it says apply evenly to face and neck after cleansing so this is a moisturizer that i will be trying out and let you guys know here or on my instagram keep y'all updated but i thought it was super freaking cute look at how the packaging looks i know my lights is like killing it but this has 1.7 ounces in it and once again it's the oil free and hydration in it and like I said, it's a daily moisturizer from Clean and Clear. So y'all be on the lookout for the updates on that. Okay, so I did pick up, I'm trying to see where is the rest of it. It's somewhere in there. Y'all know I have that little bucket of where I put all of the new products. So I was walking around and seeing that Neutrogena came out with some new products. So I was a little intrigued. 
and wanted to test out some of the things. They do, Neutrogena does have a foundation and I do believe that I have one of the old foundations and I haven't picked up any foundations from them, but I, if I can remember right, I did enjoy the foundation. So I will be bringing it back out and testing it out with the products that I just picked up. The first one is gonna be the matte primer and serum. It's a shine control and it has rice protein in it. Shock me, made me look at it a whole intriguing way. So this is by Neutrogena and it is a serum. I haven't heard anybody talk about it and they do have like the illuminating one and all that stuff. They do have that, but I wanted to try the matte one because you guys know that I love matte stuff more than, you know, the luminous and all that good stuff. So I am going to be testing this bad boy out in a first impressions. I didn't even open it or anything, but it is a glass bottle and this is one fluid ounce. Okay, it doesn't smell like anything, but I like that it has the little dropper. Oh, and it's thick. Can y'all tell? That is thick, but it feels watery. It's real watery and loose, but it came out thick. I don't know. I'm interested to try it out. Has no smell whatsoever, so I will be giving you guys a video on that as well. I'm gonna be using the new Neutrogena Radiance Cream Concealer for healthy skin. I picked that bad boy up and this one is in the shade Golden Medium Deep 01. And I thought this was the only one that seemed to match my skin tone. They did have one more, but it looked a little too neutral. So, oh yes, there's the color. And like I said, the other one looked a little too neutral. So I'm glad I did pick this one up. I, I wasn't for sure if it was gonna match me or not, but you guys know I like more of the golden yellow creamy concealers. And this one is a healthy concealer. Oh, back to a Marshalls product that I found. Yeah, a Marshalls product that I found was the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks. And these were $7.99. And I only found this one shade and it's in the shade Toast. And I was shocked to even see Anastasia. My Marshalls and Ross is never a good spot to go hunt for name brand products because we never have it. I wish I had a TJ Maxx close, but I don't. So I was excited to see Toast and it had like maybe three Toast sitting there. So I was like, I'll pick up one and try it out. Look at that, so pretty. Um, the only other ABH liquid lipstick I got is like a fiery orangey bread color that I was using for spring. So I'm glad to get a nude color. And like I said, this is at Marshall's for $7.99. Let me know what kind of items, makeup products y'all find at y'all Marshall's and Ross. Because I, my Marshall's and Ross, we just don't have no good products. Unless everybody jumps to them and get them before I do. I don't even know when shipments and stuff are so all right so back to the walmart stuff because i'd be picking up a lot of stuff from walmart cody airspun came out with new shades of their setting powder so this one is in honey beige and this is still the cody airspun loose face powder or whatever but they came out with honey beige and you guys know that i use the translucent extra coverage and I've been having that for a while. So I was like, you know what? I want to try Honey Beige. The Translucent and the Honey Beige are two different shades. Y'all not going to be able to see it because my lighting and stuff is like a little bad. But it is Honey Beige. And, and I really want to try it out and see if I like it. So I did pick that up. I want to see if I like the shade, you guys. Nothing else but the shade because y'all know I love Cody Airspun. I have it on right now. It's a holy grail of mine. So, um, I did go back and get my L'Oreal True Match Blendable Foundations. I did pick up the All Free Warm, All Free Warm in the shade Deep Warm W9.5. I don't know if it's an actual shade. Oh, it is. It's Fiance Shard. Fiance Shard. 
I don't know, it's W9.5 and it's in a deep warm. But I did go and pick up my original cappuccino. This one is in cappuccino neutral eight. I always, for some reason, this neutral, this is the only neutral foundation that matches me perfectly. And you cannot tell if I have on foundation or not. So I always get the neutral eight cappuccino. Always, I always, this is like my fourth bottle because I run through these so quick, but I decided to pick up a warm shade to see if it matches the neutral shade, which the warm shade is a little bit darker, but it's in this, almost in the same shade range. So I will do like an updated on the warm just to see how it looks on my skin. But I know for a fact the neutral eight is my jam, perfect match. I did pick up a couple of beauty sponges. I went a little overboard. I did pick up the new Wet n Wild makeup sponge. Juicy Jazz here on YouTube, she raves about this one and the Elf one, and I already picked up the Elf one and used it. If I'm not mistaken, this is my Elf one right here that I got from Target. But no, that's not, that's not it. It's over there dirty, sorry. <laughs> but I did pick up the Wet n Wild one because so many people raved about it. I did go ahead and pick up the Walmart brand and Equa Beauty is the charcoal infused beauty blender duo and it says latex free. I just wanted to try it out and see if I like them. They remind me of the Sonia Kashuk brushes that uh, sponges that I own, but Sonia Kashuk is way bigger than this, but the marble design in it makes me think of that. So let me know if you guys have tried that out. And then of course I picked up the new Real Techniques for powder makeup micro micro powder sponge. This is by Real Techniques and Sam and Nick. Whoever Sam and Nick is, but it says a smooth, seamless, and seamless finish. And it's for powder, you guys. They say you can use it wet or dry, but of course, I think I will use it wet. But I will test it out dry just for you guys. Do a whole video on it. Um, but they say you're supposed to use it for setting, uh, setting bronzer, highlighter, blush for a flawless finish. So I don't know, but we can tr test it out and see. But it reminds me of the Juno and Co. sponge. That's what it looks like to me, that velvet sponge that they have. So I'm going to test that out for you guys. The Milani, they had a new product that I've seen. And it's the Rose Water Prep and Refresh. Hydrate Mist, they had another one, but I was like, might as well just pick up one because the Milani Chamomile Oil, I think I still have that. Maybe not, I may have decluttered it, but I picked up like all of the ones they had and really didn't like them. So I was like, let's pick up one by Milani and see, but it is a rose water spray and I like rose water. So hopefully it'll be a good setting spray. Let's see what the claims is. Instantly hydrates to prep the skin before makeup. Used throughout the day for a, re a re reinvigorating burst of moisture. And it says with rose essential water, some type of oil, and witch hazel and aloe vera. So hopefully it'll be a good one. We'll try it out. I did pick up the full coverage um, Elf 16 Hour Wear. Camo concealer, you guys know I've used this concealer before and I got a shade that was way too light for you, girl. Well, I finally found Deep Chestnut Hydrating one. I did really, really, really look hard for it in the hydrating line, but y'all, them shades are way too neutral and pinky for you, girl. I just cannot. I cannot. I don't care for what video. I cannot. So I vouch for the Deep Chestnut and hopefully Deep Chestnut works for me. This was the only yellow, orangey, golden shade they had. Yeah, that'll work. The last two products that I did, the last couple of products I did pick up was the Elf Luminous Putty Primer. You guys, I'm looking for the matte one. I should have picked up the matte one when I first seen it and I didn't because I thought I had it but I actually picked up two of the original ones and this luminous one. So I gotta go back and find the matte one and I wanna do like a whole test out, wear test, 
of all of them and put it into one video it'll be different days that i'm gonna be testing them out but so that you guys can see this the comparison in all of them the original the matte and the luminous one in one video that's what i want to do that's my plan so i do have the luminous one too much mouth was doing a video on blushes that go for our skin tone and she did mention the la girl blush in just dance Found it in my beauty supply store for $4.99. Picked it up. I will be using it because she said it's really good. And then I found the LA Girl Setting Spray. I want to use. I found this at CVS. And this one, I think it had an illuminating one, illuminizing one too. So I was like, I got to hold off and try it. But I wanted to use the matte one first. Um, oh, and the Elf Dewey do primer this jelly pop primer i've been searching for this forever my ulta never had it so when i seen this one hiding on the shelf i got it want to try it out want to use it in a first impressions and then the last product is the l'oreal l'oreal paris bambi eye mascara you guys that commercial had got me oh it got me so i was like i have to pick this up and when i went to walmart that was the first thing i looked for and i'm so glad i got it can't wait to test it out and show you guys what i feel and how i feel about it and i did get the waterproof one this one is the blackest black but it is the waterproof you guys know i'm not against the waterproof mascaras but that is it you guys that is everything that i've been shopping for drugstore wise affordable wise or whatever you would like to call it my camera is about to die so i'm gonna hurry up and get up out of here you guys comment down below let me know what y'all would like to see a video of and let me know if you need an in-depth video of any of these products that i mentioned in this video make sure to follow me on instagram for all of the mini review updates and in the words of my loyal subscriber i will catch y'all in the next one Keep shining, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification and I will catch y'all in the next one.